Hey, what's going on, guys? Breaking Spec again. Just wanted to give you guys my top 20 pickups of 2014. Uh, these are in no particular order. Um, some of these they didn't even release in 2014. I went back and grabbed some shoes from 2006, 2010, whatever it is. But uh, here we go. Let's just dive right in here. A lot of my pickups usually are more performance oriented. So if you're new to my channel, this is what you'll be getting. So uh, this is the Jordan 29. I bought them this a couple times and I really enjoyed the upper overall. The support's really nice as well. Uh, traction's decent. The cushioning's not as responsive as a 28, but overall it's a really comfortable shoe and it wraps your foot really well. Uh, it's one of those shoes where you just kind of throw it on and uh, you just go out to the court and do your thing. You don't have to worry about your feet. Next up right here, this is the Jordan 28. Uh, this was labeled as B grade and was sold in outlets. I actually picked this up off of eBay off of a seller and uh, I really love the shoe. The, the cushioning is just crazy responsive. The traction is also pretty amazing. Uh, I mainly love the cloth upper right here uh, compared to the Hyperfuse uh, shroudless model. And uh, this just wrapped my foot really well and I really enjoyed it. So the next shoe, up right? we have here is a pair of bread ones. I really love this shoe. I still haven't worn it. I tried it on a couple of times, but uh, I don't know. I just haven't found the right day to wear it. Nike gear up top. Uh, this released in uh, December of 2013. I picked it up early January. So this is one of my favorite pickups of 2014. A brand that a lot of people are starting to pick up on. This is a pair of leaning away of weights. Uh, this actually looks like a black cement 3 and the leather qualities are A1, really nice. Uh, it's one of those shoes where you kind of just kind of beat up, you don't have to worry about it. It's a really durable shoe, really nice quality leather and uh, just really nice the shoe. 2014 overall. Flight Posit in the carbon fiber colorway, really nice shoe overall. It's uh, It's got that shroud as well with the zipper up or down, it's got your heel and forefoot zoom bag as well really comfortable shoe you get a lot of wear of these just because they're so durable as well kind of throw them on with some jeans or khakis anything would work so uh next up let's work our way over here this is a pair of uh kamikaze twos in that houston all-star colorway from the all-star game a couple years ago uh Gerald green wore these i picked this up off of ebay and uh i just really like the colorway on this I saw these on PickerShoes.com a long time ago when it first released for 99 Next up right here, another All-Star shoe. This shoe is my favorite LeBron 11 um, out of all the colorways. Uh, it just glows like crazy. I don't know what material they used on these uh, on the foam posit or uh, armor posit, whatever you want to call it. But overall, it's a really nice glow. Everything pops about this shoe. Uh, even the iridescent look on the side panels as well as the top everything is crazy about this shoe even the bottoms are kind of crazy next up right here I just want to give another shout out to uh, Zaya X0712 these ended up at his uh, local uh, clearance outlet and um, he picked these up and I grabbed them off of him this is a uh, Nike ID right there I actually uh, change it to a Kobe insert because the overall it w this is 11 and a half and uh, it was a little narrow up here it kind of hurt my foot so if you put a Kobe uh, insert in it lowers the whole profile overall really comfortable after I changed it it also feels a little lighter without all the uh, zoom this guy right here minimalist basketball shoe this is the hyper rev 2014 2015 model is also available on finishline.com already so if you're interested go check it out uh, full length zoom bag really comfortable shoe traction is average uh, it really depends on what court you're playing on the air flight Hirachi a lot of people will be sleeping on these uh, it's a really comfortable shoe it doesn't really show much wear I've worn this multiple times it's a classic shoe classic colorway classic model Got the uh, air Hirachi logo right there really comfortable shoe it's got that air encapsulated air for the cushioning uh, next up let's work our way over here these are the Adidas boost models if you're interested in a pair of Roshi killers these are the pure boosts these are amazing these are so comfortable uh, don't use these for riding well because it provides no support or traction overall but uh 
hair on there. There's nothing between your foot and the boost foam. Really comfortable shoe. It's also got that almost like a spandex material. It's really comfortable when it wraps around your foot. Next up right here, this is the Clima Heat, or no, Clima Chill Rocket Boost. This is a closer to a running form, uh, running version of the Boost. Uh, I don't believe the traction is as good as the Energy Boost, but uh, it's got just the regular mesh and uh, a lot of ventilation in this shoe. Really comfortable shoe, if you need a shoe to just beat up, this is the shoe right here. Shout out to my girlfriend, she bought these for me for Christmas. This is the Christmas edition from the Nightmare Collection, something like that, Mad Dreams Collection. Uh, this is Glow in the Dark, um, wore these a couple times already. She got me a size 11 in this. I definitely recommend trying this specific pair on if you're interested, just because it's a canvas upper and uh, it will conform to your foot. It's got a crease in there already multiple times. Like there, glow in the dark side panels. Really nice shoe overall. I think I would have preferred an 11 and a half if used casually. I can probably ball in these in the size 11. Next up, I, I think I like this pair the most so far, just because it's winter time. This is the Clima Heat Rocket Boost boot for winter. Uh, they upgraded the traction a little bit for some snow and ice. Waterproof upper, 3M side panels. Got a high collar, really flexible as well. Primal loft inside uh, as well as uh, it feels a little furry in there. Keeps your foot really warm. Really comfortable as well. If you need to do some walking, especially around malls in winter time, these are the ones to go with. The Energy Boost. Two. You want a shoe to run around in as well as use it for just regular walking and lifestyle, go with this pair right here. It's got that tech fit upper, same spandex material, has these overlays to provide you the support that you so, uh, really final need. Roll back here, these are all Kobe's. I picked this up, uh, I want to say earlier in the year, this is the Black and Maze, I want to say. Uh, colorway of the Kobe 1 classic shoe. This is one of the original colorways. But that new buck side panel, it's really clean, really nice looking shoe. I love this shoe right here. It's really comfortable as well. Same goes for the black and purple colorway right here. It's got that heel and four foot zoom bag. Just looks really nice. I think the ones look a lot better than the twos and the threes as well. Next up, another pickup from a YouTuber. Uh, shout out to Mr. Crispy Coil. He sold these to me for US retail. These are hella expensive in Canada. So I grabbed these from him. Uh, the flyknit upper is getting softer uh, with each wear. It's getting more a little, little more. So uh, last but not least, we got two pairs of uh, Nike IDs. This is my Tiffany colorway. Uh, one says diamond, this one says supply. I just love the colorway on these. You're not gonna get a lot of people wearing a color like this. Turquoise, exactly like the Tiffany blue box. Um, silver up top. Really, really, oh, drop that shoe right there. Really unique looking shoe. Next one up here, another ID. This is uh, my LeBron and Kobe uh, Nike ID right here. This one says Kobe, the other one says LeBron. For the full story, definitely go check out my review. So uh, that's pretty much it. This is my top 20 of uh, 2014. Hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. And uh, I wish everybody a happy new year. Peace.